Hey everyone, it's me, Aurus J. Sanchez. I'm here wearing a pink bow tie. I haven't worn this bow tie in a while, like years. But I'm actually going to a meeting here in New York City. This is where I live. And a story specifically, for those who know, awesome. For those who don't know, you gotta come to New York to visit. Now today I wanna talk about something extremely interesting, which is how can you really see or find out, how can you really see the true feelings or the true personality of the people you're hanging out with or the people you surround yourself with? And this is extremely important, especially when it comes to people who are, who are becoming business partners or people who are in the process of dating others or getting to know other people. That process of really getting to know someone is crucial. But what happens is that many of us get fooled. And once we're already too deep into the relationship or we already have them as business partners or we're, we're with them on a consistent basis, then we're like, oh my God, who is this person? They're like, and then we say, when I was meeting them or when I got to know them, they were not like this. Why are they acting like this? Well, you're saying that because you were fooled, you were tricked, you didn't really get to see their real personality, or they were really good actors or actresses, and they hid their true personality. Because you know, in today's day, that's what that's what we as adults do. We try to hide our weaknesses. We try to hide our vulnerable side. But kids are the complete opposite. They're innocent. They show everything. Their weaknesses. That's why we all love kids. Well, at least most of us, right? Um, but now going, as I was mentioning, so now that we know that, right? What is it, again, what can we do to really find that person's true personality? What is it that we can do? And I'm going to give you guys a couple things what you guys can do right now, this moment, to truly see their true inner colors. Because that's it's super important. Okay. So there's one cool, neat trick that I learned a long time ago. If you want to see how someone really is, right, there's two things that, that you can do. You can either see the way they treat people who are inferior to them, which I'll, I'll get to in a second, or see how this person treats their parents. Okay, again, see how this person treats their parents and see how this person treats people who are inferior to them. Now, why do I mention this? Well, first of all, I've seen so many times where I'm with a group of friends or I'm, I'm with some people and we're at their house and their parents are there and they treat their parents like crap. They treat their parents like garbage. They yell back at them. They scream back at them. They, they don't pay attention. They don't respect them. Now, you know, some people might say, well, you know, probably, um, you know, that person's parents were terrible to him, so you know he's probably giving some revenge and everything. Well, first of all, you should never, ever do revenge. That is the worst thing that you can do. But today's video is not about that. Maybe that would be a different video. So if you see how they treat their parents, who brought them to this world, right? Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying probably those parents were the best, right? But no matter how bad your parents were, you still got to give them some type of respect. You do. It's just courtesy and is the right thing to do. But if you see that, they, that they're having this bad behavior, this terrible behavior towards them, what makes you think that with you, who's, who you, who are, who you are definitely a new person in their life, what makes you think that they're going to treat you with even more respect, with dignity, that they're going to treat you the right way? When that person gets angry, they're going to yell at you, they're going to do everything the same thing they do to, your, to their parents. So those are, the, those are the opportunities, those are the moments where you really have to see this person when they're with their parents, for example, and see how, how they really treat them, because the way they treat them that's how they're also going to treat you. Another situation, when they treat um, people, quote unquote, people who are inferior to them. Now, I'm not saying that I'm inferior to you or you're superior than me. I'm, I'm not saying that, no. But in there's certain situations where there will be times where people, quote unquote, are inferior to you. For example, when you go to a restaurant and you go eat, the waiter and the waitresses are there to serve you. They're there to serve you. So, quote unquote, it's not, that, it's not that they're beneath you, it's that they're, at the moment, inferior. So the way you treat those people, the way you treat employees, the way you treat you know, people, of that, of people who are serving at the moment, you also have to really pay attention. Because I've seen so many times where I've gone to restaurants for meetings or with a group of uh, people, and different people have different reactions or different answers or different personalities, and you see how they treat different types of people. Maybe how they treat little kids, or maybe how they treat the, wait the waiter or the waitresses. They're probably really mean and nasty. So if they're nasty to them, right, what does that say about their personality? Now, I'm not going to give you the answer, but I really want you to think about that. These, these are the moments where you have to really observe them and see how are they treating others. Because that's how you really see their true personality. And the last one I, I want to give is something that I've done be before. Whereas, you know, if you really want to get to know someone, try to find a way. Don't get them upset to, to an extreme level, but maybe... Say something that's controversial to them, a little bit. Or say something that you know 
will get them a little bit of a, a little bit of anger, a little bit upset. Now, why? Why? Now, again, I'm not saying to do this completely and do it all the time. No, but just do it once or twice and see how they react. Because just igniting a little fire, a lot of times people will just react and they'll yell, they'll scream at you, they'll curse you out, and then that's when you'll see their true personality. That's when you'll see how they really are under pressure when someone when someone tells them something that they don't like. That's the true thing you want to see. There's people who are very calm and collected, who are confident, or you know they know how to answer back, or you know some people begin to cry. You'll get different types of responses, different types of uh, body language characteristics, just by doing that one little simple thing. Just seeing how these people react when you say something. Maybe you raise your, your voice just a little bit, or you're a little sarcastic. I'm not saying that you have to get them angry. Don't do that because then that person, m m you know, they might become an enemy or a foe, or they might not like you no more. I'm not saying you to do that. Just Test the waters a little bit, just a little bit, a little taste. And that's when you'll truly see how they really are, their reaction. That's what you want to see, their reaction. Okay, guys? So, again, you want to see their reaction by, you know, testing the waters a little bit. You want to see how they treat their parents and to other people, to other people who are, quote, unquote, inferior, inferior to them. You just want to see, in those specific moments, how they treat others. And once you do that, I'm telling you, your success rate of building a network of, you know, finding the right guy or finding the right girl or having great business partners, your success rate will go super high. Why? Because you were able to see in those small opportunities how they truly are. And you found out their true inner colors. Okay, guys? So I wanted to share this with you. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to post, like, around here my Snapchat and also my Instagram where I post a lot of great information on becoming ultimate conversationalist, speaker, interviewee, and entrepreneurs, how to make money online, and so much more. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. That's very important, because I'm gonna be coming out with new videos once per week. But these videos are here to help you and become a new person and learn tremendously. All right, guys, thank you so much. Until next time.